In this video, we will discuss what are interfaces in Solidity and why do we need them. So let's quickly create a file here. Interface dot soul. So let me quickly copy the header so that we can save some time. And let's create a contract here. Contract code is alert. And let's say inside this contract, we have two functions. First one is used to set the name, set name, set it to public, and uh, it takes string memory as an input, string memory, let's say underscore name. And here we can do name equals to underscore name. Let's quickly declare a variable here. String name. Let's copy this function and paste it here. So this function we can change it to get name so that it will return the name that we have set in the previous step. So it returns string memory. And here we can simply do remove this. We are not setting anything to return and also remove this because we are not taking any parameters. Set it to view because we are not changing anything. We are just returning the name. And that's it. Let's deploy this contract now. Okay, now we need one more file. And I will explain why do we need the interfaces in the first place. So let's declare one more file here. Let's say interact dot sol. Let me copy and paste the header. Okay, so basically we need an interface to interact with the contracts that are already deployed on the blockchain. So in this case, we have already deployed this contract, but we are in need to interact to set the name and then get the name. So how do we do that? So interfaces are helpful uh, to do that. So let's define an interface so we can define the interface with the keyword interface. Interface and interfaces as the standard starts with I. So I will do CA short for code is alert. So this is an interface for the code is alert contract. And now inside the interface, we are just going to give the function definition. We are not going to implement the function. So basically in the interface, we want to tell what function we want to call so that EVM will understand and create the function signatures to call those functions. It will make more sense once we'll implement it. So let's see. So copy this function definition from here paste it here and your all functions inside the interface should be marked as external and that's it so let's copy and paste the second function definition as well make sure there is no body for these functions even if you'll just add these curly braces it will start giving you the error so just add the semicolon after the external keyword and here as well set it to external and that's how we define the interface now let's define the contract let's say name access we want to access the functions from the code is alert contract let's create a function here to call the set name function from our code is alert uh, contract so do function all that name set it to public and here simply do ICA and we need the address of the smart contract where we have deployed the contract so we deployed this contract at this address this is very important because that's the only way Solidity will know that where to look for this smart contract so paste this address here and then give the 
function name that we want to call we want to call set name here so do set name and pass the argument here any in our case and that's it this is how you can access the functions from the contracts that are already deployed and let's define one more function here to get the name let's say call get name and we can do public view returns string memory and here copy and paste the same thing and change it to get name and we don't need any argument here because get name is not taking any argument and that's it let's see what is the error here okay so we need to return we did not return cool so now let's deploy this contract and first let's look at the name so we should not have any value here as you can see string is blank it is not returning anything because we did not call the set function here so let's call the set function and now let's again call the get function here and you can see it has set the value any inside the name variable this is how you can interact with the any contract that is deployed out there on the blockchain all you need is the contract address and the interface so inside the interface it is not necessary that uh, you have to define all the functions that are there uh, in this smart contract if you just want to call this function so you can remove this uh, function you don't need this so i can also do this let's let's remove this and let me remove this function as well and let's deploy this contract again let's call and even this will work but right now we don't have any way to see the value if it has set the value even at the back end it has set the value so you can define the functions what all functions you want to interact with and you can just define those definitions in the inside the interface so there are a couple of limitations in the interface you cannot define the state variables inside the interface if you'll try to do like string memory sorry string let's say new name or something it won't allow you so however there are a couple of data types that you can define for example you can do let's say enum let's say your order state and inside this you can define let's say ordered shipped delivered like this you can also define the struct type here you can do struct let's say vehicle and you can define the types let's say string car string truck like this So this is how you can define the types inside the interface as well. Let's quickly change the error here spelling. O R D E R ordered. And that's pretty much about the interfaces.